Hey guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, I have received my very, very first Blythe doll. And I am at once both confused and absolutely in love. <laughs> I have never had a doll like this before. So if you are new to my channel, um, please consider subscribing. And if you happen to have a dolly or a crafting channel of your own, um, please drop a comment down below and let me know um, so that I can subscribe to your channel as well. So this little girl here, um, or rather I should say this young lady here, just arrived in the mail and I uh, did film her box opening and then I realized that I had no idea what I was doing and making a complete idiot of myself on camera so I stopped filming um, I had to go and look up some information about how to work her eyes but now I know <laughs> So, I um, have been wanting a Blythe doll for a very, very long time. Um, a lot of you guys who also have Reborn channels, um, you a lot of you also have Blythe dolls and you show your Blythe dolls. And, um, and I also have now, for a while now, I've um, been following channels who just have you know, Dolly content other than Reborns, um, like uh, Dolls Rescued, uh, Beth Ramsden, um, uh, Tammy Pally over at Peacecraft Dolls, um, and uh, I have just been really fascinated with these dolls and really wanted one of my own. Um, so what I did was I decided to start really, really simple. Um, I found this, uh, little lady on Etsy and, um, she's from a reputable seller and she had, um, very lightly customized, uh, Blythe dolls. And, uh, this girl right here, um, is a, she's a factory Blythe and she's been, uh, just lightly customized. She's had some work um, done on her face, and uh, she has had this wig put on. Uh, she has four eye chips, and then she's just got a fully jointed body, and um, and then her um, her drawstrings have been um, beaded, as you can see right here. Um, this one with the heart is the drawstring to close her eyes and the other one that has this appropriate little eyeball looking bead <laughs> is the one that um, will open her eyes. So it took me a moment to figure out how how these work and I was really terrified that I was going to break my brand new doll on camera. But anyway, I got her from a seller called Blythe by Carrie, and that's K-A-R-I. And um, I'll tell you what I paid for her. I only paid $50 for her. The factory Blythe's on, like, Amazon are, um, and I don't even know, I don't even know if there's such a thing as fake Blythe's, or I, I just, I don't know anything about these dolls. I just kind of jumped in. Um, but I decided that I would try not to make too big of an investment in case I didn't like it. Well, I, I, I love it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so she's had some face work done. She has um, frosted pink lips, like a Cupid's bow mouth. She's got light blushing on both of her cheeks. And she has, like, snow white... Um, skin. Like really, really white skin. I do wish that her body 
was the same color as her face. It is very clearly not, um, not a match. And I didn't really notice that when I, um, when I purchased her. Um, but that's okay because like I said, she's just been really super lightly customized. She does have four eye chips and I'll show you those in a minute. This wig, however, of hers is, um, well, it's not really a wig. It's rooted. It's rooted in there. Um, this is incredible. It is, I thought initially that it was black. What it really is, is a really deep, 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 like purplish black. Um, it is beautiful. And this is, this is the softest hair that I have ever felt on a doll that's like not a reborn um this is it's just I can't stop touching it because it it's just I don't know it's just amazing I'm really really astounded by the quality so it is kind of like this 60-ish era like curly bob let me show you the back get her drawstrings there's the back the back is suffering a bit from travel hair, but we'll work on that. Um, she is going to be on display, and she was sent with just the one outfit that she's in, um, which is these little black shorts and this pink top, and that's it. That's all she came with. I didn't buy any clothes for her because I just, um, I didn't even know you know, if I would be buying the correct clothes, um, too big, too small, I'm all new to this, so, <laughs> um, let me show you her stand, she came with this really cute little, like, pink four-leaf clover stand, and let's do her eye chips, so, she's got these gray-blue eyes that are shifted over to the right, and then let me hold her head here so I don't like damage her. Um, see, I didn't realize there would be a click. That's what I was missing. And I was terrified I was going to damage her. So, And then these bright, bright, bright blue. And it almost looks like there is, there's like trees it, like, it's like she's looking at a winter landscape and it's reflected in her eyes. There's like pine trees. So let's do the next one. And then dark blue eyes that have a night sky in them that are cut over to the left. And then these beautiful violet eyes. So yeah, there she is. I have decided to name her um, Faye. I've decided to name her Faye, F-A-Y, because I think she looks like a Faye. And um, yeah, I I really like her, you guys. This is all new to me. Um, but I think she's really, really pretty. I'm really impressed with how nice her hair is. I do wish her body was the same skin tone as um, this paler shade up here. Maybe I can buy a Blythe body that would match that. I don't, I don't know. Maybe she just needs... I can see her wearing maybe a lot of like long sleeve things. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, but there she is. I'm really happy with her. I'm really happy that I that I bought her. I think that, you know, the American Girl doll thing just wasn't, after all these years, it just wasn't my thing anymore. I think this definitely is going to be my thing along with, of course, my babies. <laughs> She's got really pretty lashes. I just love this 60s. 50s vibe that she has. 
I think she's beautiful. All right, guys, that's it. So thank you so much for joining me and Faye here, and we will see you next time. Bye.